All right, so we're starting on the supply side of the plumbing. So we're in the back with the tanks. This is our fresh water tank. It's about 160 gallons or so. Um, we've got two outlets on this tank, um, both at the very bottom of the tank, um, and they're both three quarter inch. Um, we've got three quarter inch fittings on there, which will fit this three quarter inch um, reinforced tubing. And so that's what we're using for the supply. Um, we're gonna have them both come out and then um, T in together and go into one inch, which is what the inlet side of our pump is. It's a one inch inlet and it'll go through this. Um, this little device monitors for pressure and flow. And so if there's no, if there's not enough flow, there's not enough pressure, it will actually shut the pump down to keep it from running when it's out of water. If we run out of water, the pump will automatically shut off by itself. So um, right now we're, we've gotten the first few fittings, trying to see how everything works, how to fit everything together. And we're just gonna, this is gonna be the next part of the project. All right, so we've got our first pipe made, or our first little hose made. And so this guy is gonna go in here and it's gonna join the big pipe to the two smaller ones. And so we've got two hoses that are gonna come off of the tanks and join at this, but the problem is we also needed a drain from one of these. So, and the drain has to be low. So this can be high, because this pump will pull, um, it'll do suction up to, I think, 25 um, vertical feet. So it should be fine um, suctioning out of the line and everything else. Um, and that'll also ensure that there's no pressure on the pump side. But um, we're hooking this up. This is our first kind of hose. We've had to revamp what we thought was going to fit back here. <laughs> So our first plan didn't work out so well. So now we're going up. So we're gonna hook this up here and then it's, there's gonna be hoses coming down. There's gonna be a valve here. That's gonna be an on off valve for this. There's gonna be another one similarly here and there's gonna be a T here and then that will hook up to a hose that comes and then this will be the drain. Um, so we'll be able to drain the tanks from here. Um, it will also be our gravity fill and so we'll talk about that a little bit later but our gravity fill will also be our drain hose so anyway um we're um grinding along and getting getting it done so here's here's the first part of it so it's this is one inch reinforced um drinking water tubing so it's like similar to the stuff they use like in like water stores and soda machines and stuff like that. So it's, it's super strong and it's pretty hard to work with. We've had to heat it up just a little tiny bit with a hair dryer. So we're being real careful not to melt it, but just enough to get it to be pliable. And then, then it allows us to slip it all the way onto the joints. So anyway, this is, uh, this is progress, I guess. All right, to cut this stuff, we've just been using a PVC cutter. Um, and it works pretty well, though it doesn't work great. It works well enough to make a nice clean cut. So there we go. So um, that's what we've been using to cut it is just some, these are meant to cut like PVC, like the white stuff. <laughs> so it's. Wait, 
<sighs> clamp. And then uh, the on. one more clamp. Another clamp goes on. Okay, let's put them the same way. I need to heat it again. Do I? Yeah, probably. good okay so now another clamp. all right so i think we're done with the supply to the pump plumbing we thought that this would be a lot easier to work with since it you know kind of has a bend and we could bend it all around and if we ever had to replace the pump or anything like that it might be easier um i'm not so sure about that. it was not as flexible as we had hoped um we got it done and it works and it's in but um we were hoping it would be a little more flexible than it actually was. So coming off the pump, um, there's a one inch inlet. So we went ahead and used one inch pipe. And then um, when we originally designed this tank and this system and everything, we thought we would probably just use just like a standard RV pump. And so when we plumbed it, we plumbed it with two half inch holes at the bottom. So they're half inch female NPT threads at the bottom. Um, not knowing that we would get this big giant pump. And so um, if we would have plumbed it with a standard RV pump, we probably would have only had to use one or the other. We could have used the other one for a drain. That was the original plan. But since we've gone to this much larger pump, we thought we'll supply it with as much water as we possibly can. Um, and so we've plumbed out of those half inch um, bungs, we've plugged, we've uh, plumbed in three quarter inch bars and three quarter inch barbs then it's three quarter inch hose the whole way um, each of the outlets has a valve where we can shut it off um, just like that and i'll explain that in a minute but each one has that and then we have on this one is a drain and so this has to stay really low and so this is a drain for the tank and so um this now works as a drain and a fill so if we put it down we can drain the tank but we also have a um, a hose inlet here where this would be our gravity fill and so the way that works is we would shut off both of the um, both of the outlets for the tank and we would connect a hose to here and open this one up what we would do then is put this in the water or hook up a source to here. It could also be a incoming water source. Um, and then we would turn the pump on and it would suck um, water through this inlet in through the pump and out. And this will go all the way to the front to the filters. So there'll be a way that this gets directed so it can go all the way to the filters, across the filters, and then into the tank. So that's what we're doing for a gravity fill. We don't have a traditional gravity fill where you just pour water in. Um, so on the other side, we'll also have a um, kind of like an RV service city water type of connection where you just screw it in and it's available and we turn a couple valves and we can fill the tank. Um, we'll have that, but in addition to that, we'll have this for filling from bladders or from um, maybe a hose that's on this side or a low pressure hose. If a hose is really low pressure, we have a very large tank. It's about 165 gallons. And so in order to fill that up in a relatively quick manner, um, if the water is just a trickle, what we could do is use this pump to kind of pull that water through the hose. So. Um, Anyway, this is all in theory. We haven't actually worked it yet, but that's the way this system is designed to work.